Day two of my Asturias road trip. I've got the girls up at 5 a.m. for probably the first time in history, because today we are doing something special. We are heading to the rocky northern coast, one of the richest sources of seafood in the world. The seafood here in Asturias couldn't be fresher. Nothing compares to eating Asturian crab or fresh lobster right next to the ocean it came from. But today, we are after something else, the jewel of the Asturian coast. They are called percebes, and they are the most expensive seafood in the world. Okay, they look a little strange, but these things taste incredible. This is Julio. He spent his life hunting for percebes. Today, Carlota and Inés are going to join him. A ver si cogemos unos percebinos y a ver si pasamos una mañana entretenida. ¿Qué tal se nos da? Yeah, we'll go for coffee. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Dad loves eat percebes, but he doesn't want to do any of the hard work. So Inés and I are going to take the plunge. Percebes only grow on rocks out in the ocean, and they're only exposed at low tide. We have to swim now. Let's hope the water isn't too cold. Woo! Oh, the water is chilly, but it's hot. We've only got half an hour before the tide comes in. When that happens, it can get seriously dangerous out there. Vale, a por ello. Vamos. Seguimos. Gracias. Wow, Carlota. <laughs> Percebes everywhere. This is a Percebes paradise. A pound of these ugly looking babies is worth $400. ¿Cómo la sacamos? Ahora os doy yo. Esto se coge así. Y por abajo. Y se, por abajo. So eh? underneath. Wow, mira oh cómo se mete. Oh my gosh. Ostras. He, he took some of the rock with him. Yeah. I guess to preserve the base. Wow. Así que estas son buenas. Esas son, son buenas. These are Hay good. Hay que escogerlas. Julio makes it look so easy. It's not. This is a lot of hard work. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I was gonna have to use so much strength of the little strength that I have. Oh! Julio! Yes, I got my first one. Nice! We're doing okay. I don't understand why Inez wants to go further out. Typical. Mira, todo esto ya es buen percebe. Todo, eh? Ay, there we go. Buenas. Muy buena. Cuidado, eh, bien mar ahí un poco. We have the waves coming in. Ya empieza a tirar la marea un poco, ¿no? Whoa, it's starting to look a little scary over there. You definitely do not want to get smashed on one of those rocks. He's like balancing. It's like he's floating on the water. And I'm over here just trying to grab onto the rocks as the tide's pulling me in and out. So we have little time. I'm getting some good ones, Carlota! Guys, the tide is coming up! We have I to know. start heading this way! For once, Inez actually listens to me. Voy por aquí. Vete por aquí. Ole! Gracias. Muy bien, eh? That was awesome. It's hard work for sure. Ooh. Toga, we did it. Guys? Hello. Hey, ladies. Oof. Unbelievable. Check Unbelievable. it out. You're alive. Unbelievable. Oh my you gosh, took, I'm you exhausted. Guys took a while there. No way. You did an amazing job. Are you proud of us? I'm super proud of you. Are we going to eat them? I mean, now I know we're going to have something. Let's get to it. In Asturias, we like to cook things simply. To let these amazing ingredients speak for themselves. So, all we need is a pot of boiling seawater. And now, what happens? We wait. wait. To what? For them to talk to us. You wait until the gooseneck barnacle tells you, I am ready, baby. When the barnacles start to open, they are ready to eat. Good man, those are big. Let's go eat them. There is a trick to getting them open. 
you use these two fingers and you do like a little pinch right here. And this moment, you do like that, and in this moment, I just... You mean kind of... it up. <laughs> yeah, but, but hold on, hold on, because that was so perfect, but now... It's okay, I can teach you, I can, I, I can teach hmm. you. Okay, you teach me. Let me show you how to do it. Number one rule is you don't want to splash yourself and you don't want to splash your neighbors. And so, Dad, just like you did, a little pinch here. And now what happens? And then you open it and... Oh, my God. Wow. These juicy Asturian percebes taste like a cross between a lobster and a clam. Unbelievable. The texture and the ocean and, 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 and the waves and, and the bubbles and the foam, everything is in your mouth. Tell me it was awesome. It was, it was awesome. It was awesome.